I'm somewhat embarrassed to receive this award since I'm sure there's many more deserving people. I feel like I'm receiving an Oscar since this is something that I've always enjoyed doing and I have to thank my peers who kept my interest up in the scouting and my father who kept encouraging me to take it to the end of receiving the Eagle Award. I'm sure I must have fallen for the oh ah to goose I am skit in the campfires and Boy Scout camp and I seriously doubt I was able to cook the egg in the order of the arrow initiation but the experiences in tending and camping at, in the outdoors uh, was very important in my enjoyment of that activity. My CO was an army vet uh, who instilled discipline in us and made us uh, march and line up and do all the things that you'd expect soldiers to do. And I'm sure that discipline played a role in my success uh, in wrestling as well as in my employment later in life. Whenever I see a resume with an Eagle Scout included, I pull it out for special attention since an Eagle Scout symbolizes the kind of person I'd want to be with if I was in a foxhole in combat or if I was in an employment area and wanted uh, to be able to rely upon and trust the fella in the next office. When we were uh, trying to prepare for our Good Scout dinner this year, my friend Bruce Heim commented that at a commencement address at West Point before the cadets, General Westmoreland asked his cadets to raise their hands if they were ever, uh, if they were number one in their class academically, if they were the captain of their athletic team, and then he asked them to raise their hands how many of them were Eagle Scouts, and probably around 80 percent of the cadets raised their hands, and General Westmoreland also raised his hand. So I'm very grateful for what scouting has given to me, and even though I've been on many charity boards, uh, this is the one that holds a special interest in my life. So again, thank you. I'm very appreciative.